Hey everyone, welcome back to the Lions from Labs YouTube channel. For the past few video lessons, we've been discussing different ways to represent numbers and their values. Today, we'll continue that topic by looking at two additional ways to represent numbers, expanded form and picture form. Now, I'm lumping them together in one lesson because picture math is basically the same as the base 10 blocks, which we covered last week. It's just drawn on paper rather than using the actual manipulatives. And expanded form is the culmination of all the other ways to represent the values in a number. It is literally expanding the number to show the actual values in each place. Let's take a look. So when we talk about picture form, it's simply a quick and easy way for kids to give themselves a visual when working on a math problem. Picture form is very similar visually to base 10 blocks, but instead of the concrete units, rods, flats, and cubes, they're going to use dots, lines, squares, and cubes when necessary that they draw. You see, the great thing about picture form is that when kids learn it, it's always available to them. They can sketch the representation of the equation on their scratch paper. Transitioning the picture form from the physical blocks raises the level of mathematical thinking and moves children closer to solving problems in the abstract, which is where we want them in math. So when we look at the base 10 blocks, we can see that we've got the units, the little yellow square. We've got the rods representing the tens place. We've got the flats representing the hundreds place and the cube represents the thousands place. So when we want to convert this to picture form, well, in place of the units, we're going to simply use a dot or dots to represent how many, uh, what the digit is in the ones place. For the tens place, instead of the rod, we'll just draw a short line. For the hundreds, instead of the flat, we'll just draw a square. And then for the thousands, if needed, we will just draw a simple cube. So let's look at the number 125 again. And let's look at it first using base 10 blocks. We've seen this in a previous video. So we have five units in the ones place, two rods in the tens place, and one flat representing the 125. Okay. Now, if we're using picture math here, we don't have the blocks. Instead of the blocks, we're going to simply pencil in five dots in the ones place. And instead of the two rods that are in the tens place, we're simply going to draw in two short lines of the same length. And then in the hundreds place, instead of the flat, we'll draw our simple square. Once they get the concept of picture math, they'll have a powerful resource that will almost always be available for them as a strategy to help solve whatever equation they are working on. So now, let's look at 125, and this time, let's look at it in what we call expanded form. So if we return to the foundation of place value, the digit 5 in the ones place has a value of 5. The digit 2 in the tens place has a value of 20. And the digit 1 in the hundreds place has a value of 100. To put this into expanded form, we're simply going to remove the frame and we're going to write these values as they are in an addition sentence. Now we have 100 plus 20 plus 5. That is a numerical representation of the number 125 
expanded by place value. So you see, picture math can be a powerful tool for children when doing math problems in a situation where they may not have the base 10 blocks, such as during an exam. But they will almost always have access to scratch paper on which they can draw their rep representations in picture form. Now this could mean the difference between getting the question right or getting it wrong. Then, when children move to the point that they're using expanded form to represent numbers, they have a solid numerical representation of the values that make up the number. They're moving beyond the pictorial into the abstract. Now, as I've mentioned in previous lessons, I will have videos that show how your child can actually use these representations to perform mathematical operations. They're coming soon. So thank you for your time. If you found value in the video lesson, hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have a comment, question, or a suggestion, please leave it below. Until next time, take care.